Hello everyone. Welcome to Z and Annalie. Today's video, as you can see by the title, somebody broke into my salon. And I'm fixing to do a client, so I'm just sitting in front of the salon. <clears throat> and I'm just thinking how terrible Loveland is. I hate Loveland so much. Like, I haven't cried about this situation or anything because it is what it is. It doesn't bother me at all. It's just something more I have to pay for sooner than I thought I would have to pay for. But that's literally all. I'm so glad to be moving away from here soon. God is continuing to just bless me and my daughter and my entire family with wellness and good health and prosperity and abundance and no matter what we go through like we have each other and we're all still healthy we're all still smiling and insurance is gonna pay for this it's just annoying to have to deal with you know Who knows who it could have been? I don't know. I'm just really mad I didn't have a ring or some type of camera before now because some shit. Some shit. And I just at least wish I could knew who did it. So. Well. On the best note, my boyfriend came to town on Thursday and he spent the weekend with me and he barely left yesterday. Today's Tuesday and we had the most amazing time together and I'm so blessed. I am so blessed. I remember praying, just praying for such an amazing man and I never would have expected it to be him and for him to come in my life so quickly and just so gracefully and Life has been so amazing. I'm so blessed. I still can't believe somebody <clears throat> was childish enough and had the audacity to break my window at my salon. That's so ghetto. <sighs> Haven't had it two years yet. I'm just like, whatever it is what it is it's just sad that people can do things like this i'm just glad and i'm blessed and grateful that it's going to get fixed and that i don't have to pay for it i mean i have to pay for it because that's how it's going to get done but you know insurance is going to cover it you know so it's okay i'm just like I'm so done with Loveland and all of the unnecessariness it comes with. I remember when I first started um, braiding hair consistently and for money back in 2017. Um, I never imagined it being like this at all. I never imagined being by myself. 90% of the time just me and my client whoever I'm servicing at the time I thought my family would be here helping me as much as possible I thought other people would have a fire and a passion for braiding and natural hair care or nails or cosmetology in general and that I could provide a wonderful salon for them to be able to express their talents. I've been the only one at this salon since it opened. I rarely have any help. And it's because people can say all day, and this is to no one specific, but people can literally say all day, like, oh, I can help you or 
I can help you. But at the end of the day, I don't have time. And nobody should have to tell somebody, you know, like, to come, like, if they want to make money. You know, like, if, if I wanted to make money, I know where I could make money at, you know, in a professional environment. And so people just, people mostly talk, you know, 24-7. People are going to talk and they're not going to seriously support you because it comes with a lot, seriously. Supporting a small business owner, it does come with a lot. I'm thankful for all of my loyal clients who continuously come back and come back and come back. I am extremely thankful and grateful. I just... I pray for continuous guidance and to... always do my best to be the best person that I can be. To never let myself get out of character. Um, no matter what is going on, no matter what happens, I pray to just live life gracefully, live life gracefully and happily, no matter what I'm going through, because that is the best way to be. And you can choose to be that way. Like you can choose to let whatever you're going through in life um, seriously break you or tear you down or let it hurt you or you can um, make the choice to not let it phase you. And I feel like that I've made the choice to just not let life phase me anymore. Because when you let life phase you constantly, you're constantly overwhelmed, you're constantly sad, you're constantly tired. And all of 2021, that's what I found myself. Constantly overwhelmed, constantly tired, and constantly sad. And 2022, I will not do that. Um, sadly, this happened January 2022. But it didn't sadly do anything to me or my spirit at all. My life is still so amazing and I'm just so blessed and thankful for everyone in my life and all my clients who I'm waiting on right now to still service no matter what my salon looks like. I can still make money. I will always and forever be okay no matter what is going on in life. And I'm so thankful for the people who truly and genuinely support me and love me. Because it's not easy out here. And I know, same for everyone. It's just, it's not easy, but it's life. And I'm just so ready for these next chapters, these next couple of months. They're going to be my choice. They're going to be beautiful. They're going to be so amazing. They're going to be everything I deserve. I deserve peace. I deserve abundance. I deserve security. I deserve everything I have worked for. In these next few months, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you if you would love to watch all the amazing things that are going to happen. I'm so blessed and thankful to be able to see these things. I remember... Just being so young and just not knowing, you know, what the next days will bring and being so stressed out. And I'm just so thankful that I'm still here. And if you know, you know. So. This video is not sad at all. It is what it is. Life happens. Ups and downs happen. Things happen. And karma comes to who it is supposed to come to. Karma does come. Good karma comes. Bad karma comes. And life goes on, you know? You live and you learn and you grow. And so, until next time, guys. Sorry I've, it's taken so long to post these videos. Life's, life's been life. I started working at a beauty supply store in Lubbock in December. And so now, I've been adjusting to life with... Um, I'm not going to work at the beauty supply anymore much longer. This will probably be my last week here. This week here. And then I'm going to, um, I should have already started instructing, but just with the beauty supply store and trying to get a house, it's just been like, like, but, um, maybe be at the college soon. I'm supposed to start this month, but like I said, it's been crazy. But until next time, guys, it should not take me much longer. Um, I'll be posting a couple times a week now.
from now on i will be i have so much content saved up i just haven't posted it because um my editing has been something else but bye guys thank you for watching and continue to watch me and Annalise's videos thank you so much bye